Hey. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> Internet. Hi, everyone. Hey. We're, we're here to play Face Noir again. My name's oh, Phil. Oh. We're really doing this. Uh, joined tonight by Janine. Hi. Austin. Hi. And uh, Keith. Hey. Um... We used to tell who's been part of multiple face noir streams in the past. Janine and I sounded completely <laughs> resigned and defeated. Keith still had a bit of spring in his step. <laughs> Keith, Keith's been on one of them. I've been on right, one. So I'm saying one, not three. Yeah. Not yeah, so this, is this our third one? Or Listen, is this I just remember the song is, in my heart is all. This is, <laughs> this is third or fourth. <sighs> Man. A really I, racist, poorly animated song. Listen, guys. The top post on the steam form for this game is is it a racist game and then the Question second mark. one is we need more games like these support great yep Thanks, everyone Scooter. loves it oh man <laughs> so let, let's uh, just to give give people a little bit of perspective here um sunday night you know day of rest mm -hmm. uh 9 9 35 p.m here a little bit later where you guys are um i just quit playing Assassin's Creed 4 in order to play Face Noir. You quit it forever in order to play Face Noir? <sighs> forever? It's gonna feel like it. Um, Austin, what, yep. what were you playing before we... I was streaming uh, Skyrim. I'm using this new computer I have. It looks real pretty. That's a fun game. I like that game a lot. <laughs> Giraffe Kicker says, You scared the shit out of me. I had your Twitch channel opened, and the volume was all the way up, and all I heard was, Hi, I'm Phil. <laughs> It's uh, apparently idiocy overdose as well. People do that. That's what happens, I, guys. I That's what happens. I've had that. Ha I've done that multiple times. Um, so we played, like, uh, Keith, what were you doing before this? Before this, I was doing this my own stream. Has been closed and what were you playing? Three years. I was playing, uh, I was playing Don't Starve, and then a total conversion mod of Don't Starve uh, called The Screecher, which I've was been wanting to play that. Is it really good? <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It's really, it's like 10 minutes huh, tops, but okay. it's really good. Oh, weird. Uh, so basically, the, the thing I'm trying to get across, and uh, Janine, you were, you were on Austin's stream? Yeah. So the thing I want to get Making across, I want people to realize, yeah. like, all of us, we were playing good games, and then we stopped. We stopped to play this, and that's how much we love you, and, you and hate ourselves. You shouldn't reinforce that because I think that's grounds to commit all of us in our respective states and provinces. <laughs> that's fair enough. Uh, all right, I need to remember. How do you just? I want to see all the dots. I don't want to pixel hunt. How do you do that again? Need more dots. Tabs. I found. No. I found a full re of your review of this game, ah. by the way, and the the subtitle to the review is uh, "The Adventures of Washed Up Private Eye Jack uh, Del Nero are a pleasure to behold, even in spite of some rough yes. spots in the game's presentation." That might be the. I I'm curious if that's the one with the terrible. Or lot. There's a review for this game that is linked from the Steam page. That is. Uh, it has some in it. Uh, Seer, Seer says, "Phil, please stream some pirates." Hey, I would love to, except I'm playing it. I'm playing Assassin's Creed 4 on PS4, which uh, currently the museum's opening. The only way I can stream Electric. is within within the system itself, and mm, right. um, work well. I don't I don't want that if it can't be archived. That's this my issue. This museum has been closed for at least three years. Um, the economic oh, one of the, the pros of this game, by the way, are stylish atmosphere, great musical score, and serious. rock solid gameplay. Mm. <laughs> rock solid. Yeah. All right, so this museum's closed. I guess we're breaking in. I guess that's what's happening. Do we? Do you we, do you remember museum. why we're at this museum? Your partner um, was shot, and then you gave a creepy doll to a little girl in a box. That was ages ago. This is like our fourth <laughs> time, isn't it? And then you, yeah, this wow. is definitely like our, yeah, this is getting there. Maybe and then the fourth time doing what? Playing this, this dumb stream. game. Oh, playing the game. Okay. The windows yeah. are closed. I remember you went to like four different police stations, and you were just in. You were between police station Hoboken. and your office and Hoboken, Hoboken like four times. Mm -hmm. You looked through some archives, you used like a computer machine that couldn't have existed yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that thing was or weird. Couldn't have existed, or and also was too primitive. 
Right. right. Oh, one or the other. Nothing interesting. It was just uh, time way too advanced and and totally archaic. <laughs> Admit points out correctly, um, for anybody who is confused, they are gonna do Twitch archiving yeah, will be a part matter? of Twitch streaming on, on PS4, it's just not yet. It does okay. randomly work for some accounts, but I'm afraid to try it because I just don't I don't like the idea of losing something that it's I streamed. I think that, that's shitty. I actually only yeah, just turned on archive because someone messaged me and said that I didn't have it on. I had no idea. Yeah, it took me like a, a few times before I figured it out and turned it on. Because I knew that it had it used to archive it for me. You have to like you still have to go in manually and save you have to click save forever on each video though. Okay. Um, just um, as a heads up. Oh my god, so many things to click on. I actually, since the, since the last time the various rooms. Uh, you played this and I was here, <clears throat> I've actually played a bunch of adventure games, which I usually don't do. Like what games? Um, I just I just finished uh, yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, I, I played, played that. That wasn't bad. Hmm. That wasn't bad. I, I mean, the, the writing and the voice acting was pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, the general story was really good. Yeah, uh, and then like the, the the puzzles and stuff. I, I yeah, I liked it. I I'm not a huge adventure game guy, uh, but I like them every time that I play them. And I, I just played a uh, some here. indie game called uh, Morphopolis. Morphopolis here, which you sure. you played like a an insect and you go around finding hidden things and then solving puzzles, and that was pretty cool. I just played that today. I don't see. Any but like I don't know what it was about seeing a really bad adventure game that made me want to go play adventure games. It. Sorry, is Jack Del Nier right now dissing the Middle East for not being interesting yeah, enough for him? What a piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> yep. I don't see God, it. this I guy. Oh, what are you looking I at? I didn't even... There's a map. A map, I don't a map the, of the Islamic East. art. It says Islamic art, but it looks like it's just a map. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't really... Also, also I think he said really it was... It map. was like... He said it was research it. for about Persia, but I this is a whole bunch of stuff. So listen, Algeria, Persia, same difference. Right. I don't know if I choose to see anything Jack Noir is a truth there. I want to bring up something from yesterday real quick because I just finished it last night. Um, Phil, you said you played yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I finished yesterday last night too. That's usually yesterday how it last night. Yeah, yeah. It ends yeah, so at, we, at so we basically night. played. Oh. You played yesterday. Wait, hold on. Last night. We both played yesterday, yesterday, last night. Well, no, yesterday uh, always ends at last night. I mean, that's yeah. usually how that works, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I never liked like either of you. <laughs> Who's on first? I, yeah. Did you find it, did you find it as weird as I do that, like, the I'm main enemy you. in that game, uh, they're known for their combination of alchemy and torture? Wait, what? That was, like, the thing that they kept saying over and over again was that they kept on having, like, they they use this secret combination of alchemy and torture to who, achieve who eternal life. Must contain the, the, uh, the villains in that game. From the very in yesterday. I, I don't know. I don't remember. It's been, it actually, I played it like last, like a year and a half ago, basically. Okay, yeah. I just, I mean, I just played it. And they said it like nine times in the course of like a three-hour game. But just the, com like, the alchemy and torture. Ended. There's nothing in it. I don't know. I thought it was weird. I'll admit that. That is weird. Like, and goofy, like a goofy thing to be a to be focused around. Not as goofy as anything in this game, though. I'm just gonna slowly walk across, saunter across this museum that I'm. You know, this looks actually like it's kept up pretty well. with alcohol, guns, museum for a museum that's been closed for three years. Oh, I missed. They didn't. They didn't sell the dinosaur bones. You'd think that'd be like step one. Yeah. Or like put them into storage or something. Tolvo says, my patience with this game is so thin after all the bullshit with the doll. This yeah, the I, I feel so really... I guess I'm going over here. Yeah, I mean, I uh, really, Austin, you should just just have that walkthrough right open. Let's, oh, let's, I forgot. Good let's call. Not, my bad. Let's not look around. This game's apparently real long. I can't yeah. stop thinking about that stupid, that map, that art map. I think I understand it. It's just useless. I think it was like, what? wasn't it like red and These then orange and then yellow weird. sort of radiating out of the I'm Middle East and it was a map of like, I guess, where the most Middle Eastern art was made. Turns out that oh, was in the Middle East. The Good <laughs> research. Somewhere else. Probably out of fear that they might have gotten damaged during the <sighs> or that some worker might have decided to take a souvenir All right. home. All right, it's Goggler pointed linked to something on the Face Noir hub on Steam. 
Oh boy. That I can't click on because I'm in the game. I mm. can. These are the Oh yeah, I saw that. The museum. Oh. It's okay. a face more time cop mashup poster. And one of the developers posted my favorite review no, of the game in the comments. Does it link to That's... RPGfan.com? I'll admit that these Does it link no. to our stream? <laughs> Oh god, I'm sure it doesn't. Um, that's, you this is the favorite view that I found. <laughs> this is the way to the various rooms in the museum, but I still have to check no the crates. Where I should go. <laughs> I, uh, Kate Kligman left me a message. Who's in the chat with us now? She left me a message mm -hmm. on Twitter when when the stream started that said, "Oh god, not this again." Then in all caps, "Hold on, I'll be right there." <laughs> She's like, no, God, no, but okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. It's a little oh, bit hard boy. to look away. I mean, I know that the, by the end of the last stream that you did, uh, you were you were almost dead and you were totally crushed. It's hey, it's not unlikely that the same thing could happen today. You already um, sound like you're there. Well, like I said, oh, we left oh, a real oh, good oh, games. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed sure. to do right now? I'm already lost. So go look at the crates in the bottom left. Jesus, Jesus there's, there's so many crates. <laughs> there's a, a lot of crate crates. close to the door at the left side of the wall. On the downstairs? Yes. Okay. I, I just, like, I assume that they all say the same thing because there's so many. I should not have assumed that. No. Huh. Um, These crates must contain really the exhibits bad. that are... This <laughs> is really bad. That's... Can I read a snippet from this review that, I, that I'm looking at? Sure. Please. Um, okay. Uh, there's also a healthy... So he, he, he praised for a couple these of crates. paragraphs how good the, the gameplay is. Uh, and then he goes on to say, uh, There's also a healthy amount of character interaction handled by means of a simple list of dialogue choices. While the voice acting is very hit or miss, the writing itself is great and very evocative of the period. Del Nero's got a very dry, sarcastic wit, and it's always entertaining to see what kind of verbal barbs he can sling at the victim, the, not the victims, the various folks he comes across. <laughs> the I victims. said, vi in, my, in my brain, I, me I really meant the victims. <laughs> yeah, you really, I, I think that's fair. <laughs> that, uh, was, that was the Freudianist slip of all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what do I do with these bots? Like, what do I. <laughs> I saw um, them. You... So these crates don't have a label. That's the thing. All the other crates are labeled. Right. These ones aren't. These crates yes. must contain. Uh, wait, did you check the flashlight on the yeah. label? There's... The flashlight just says, There's... like, when I use the flashlight on it, he says, hey, unlike the others, these, these ones crates, don't have a label. Unlike... Well, the one you're looking for does have a label, and it says that a thing came from a place. Oh, maybe it's this one? Let's see. Oh. Uh, this... Oh. The label says the find in this case comes from Samara, Iraq. It was Iraq. in room 13 before there you go. moved here. Iraq should be in Professor Zimbabwe. So now we can cross-check that I should check with uh, our map. map. I, am I just, just checking where East. Samara is? This is authentic Middle East art. <laughs> is that what I need to find on the map? Just where... Where is Iraq? <laughs> Let's go to the map and, and find <sighs> Samara. This review that I have open says that uh, if sarcasm and pessimism had a child, that would be our private detective Jack Del Nero's demeanor throughout the story. Samara That's a sentence. That's how sentences. Oh boy. Contents must be displayed in the Islamic area. It was from room 13. Room 13 must be the old Islamic area, and that's where the professor's office must be. You're really putting together the fucking pieces, Jack. Wandering around the museum would not be a good idea. Jesus. Okay, I think I... Room 13. Room 13. So now I go look at the... The old Islamic area. Does that just say Arabia? Was that a country at some point, or is that just like saying Africa? I don't know. It might have been Listen, a country at some point. It when my could uncle have been. Said, I know that room when my uncle said that he wanted to bomb Arabia into a parking lot, he did uh, the Alright. Uh... Yeah, well, listen, families... What is this? I'm like walking around on this, this map. What? Yep. Yep. This I'm is sure. weird. This should just is this like a the anniversary edition stuff? of Clue. <laughs> um, do you want to know which way to go? Do I have to go up the stairs? Did they run out of money? Maybe. Yeah. Why would Professor Zindler have an office? He works oh. for the museum. 
Yeah, museum professors the have offices. A defunct museum? Well, okay, let's... <laughs> I mean, listen. When a museum goes out of business, the offices don't just disappear. <laughs> Wait, but why would he have... I was just assuming that he was going to go and find Professor Zindler. I thought he was just going to... My thing is, why is Professor Zindler leaving his stuff in this closed museum for three years? Um, (laughs) Say, you want to go... You kind of want to go, like, up... You kind of want to make an S starting from the bottom. Yeah, I I kind of see that. If we're going to go on that logic, why is he just leaving his valuable Middle Eastern art research in the lobby of this fucking museum? Yeah, I agree. Museum right beside a dinosaur that no one cares about for some reason. Dinosaurs are expensive. Yeah, but they're extinct. Fuck them. Complete dinosaurs. Wait, what? What museums have dinosaurs and also Islamic art? The wrong. Um, Museum of Natural History. I don't know. No. The, the Royal Ontario Museum does. Does it? Okay. Yes. The Smithsonian plus dinosaurs? Yeah. I mean, lots of, like, There's big... There's a weird names. name for it. They're going to have There's departments weird, and stuff. Uh, I was surprised when they changed the name to that. The Smithsonian <laughs> plus dinosaurs. Plus dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The, the Smithsonian colon now Jack, with dinosaurs. <sighs> Earthbound X says, didn't Iran used to be called Arabia? I mean, that but was Iran was lot. separate on that map. Oh. Yeah, it was. It said it Iraq, had... Iran, and Arabia. Yeah, you're right. I made it to my desk. <laughs> oh, so this yeah, actually map. was. I was moving there. I was actually, I thought I was just navigating the map. Oh, no, I no. Think that's that what makes moving. it art. Yeah. When yeah. a map is wrong, it's just called art. I like <laughs> how big that room, like that room doesn't have a door to it. It's just a big <laughs> open. Dustbuster says, this game seems fun, by the way. It's not. It's not fun. <laughs> this is the first time. But thank you. Great. I hope you're having fun. Waiting to be transferred to another room. A long wait, considering they've been here for years. I'm just gonna click on everything. Great. Yep. It's probably gonna say the same thing for most stuff. Great. This isn't an office. This crate is open. Nothing inside. Do you think they have a Chinese oh, cultural display where Jack could go and maybe get some fucking sensitivity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like boy. understanding. What if the second half of this game was just like sensitivity draining? That would be great. That would be that's the, best. the That's the sequel. The like you made it this far, you need this. this what if the second half of the game is just rise? Like you just go into the Roman exhibit, and then it just turns into rise. And it was like a, it was just a fucking dudes? crazy long con. So do you guys know where it goes from here? I, do we even I have a clue? That's what the okay. Well, I guess I, I Austin, Austin might. <laughs> yeah, I've read. I, I can see what the puzzles are anyway. Do office. we go to Mexico? No, unfortunately. A lot of offices and apartments. God damn it. And flashbacks. Oh, good. More flashbacks. That'll be good. Yep. Those are my fave. Great. It's Goggler. Says, yeah, there's a Chinese culture display, but it's labeled Mexican <laughs> culture. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody on the Steam forums, uh, Wong Tin Long, asks, "Is it a racist game?" I learned from some reviews that this game makes fun of Chinese cabinet in an offensive way. Since I'm Chinese, I don't want to buy a game that makes fun of my people, which is a problematic statement. Like I'm not Chinese, and I still don't want to buy a game that makes fun of. But I don't mind. I don't mind other people enjoying the mocking, though. He adds, which oh, great. That's- that's a little. Oh, that's, that's pretty sad. Here we go. Try the thing. Found the office. The professor's office. What are we like? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get made fun of to my face. But if you guys want to make fun of me when I'm not around, go for it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's that's like a no doubt weird point of view. Why? It's the what same face I saw in the news. You're here to talk to Zin- Zindler. He's his but, body is cold. But oh my he God, he is here. Dead. He can't have been dead more than seven hours. He must have been here that recently and killed. Makes me think that he did die natural <laughs> causes. Because that, he, he's cold, but guys, not too much. Guys, that bullet hole in his head makes me think he didn't die of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a detective. He's so. a fucking detective. <laughs> <laughs> he's putting the pieces together. <laughs> Maybe it's just really bad acne. There are all books. <laughs> Most are about ancient. Uh, no one but a private Eastern dick could figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's an archaeology degree given to. But take his archaeology degree. Take it. I might need that. Bo- I'm not going to pick up every object. Uh, Bogart in the chat says. Becomes an archaeologist. 
this office seemed pretty normal. Normal, that is, until I saw a totally fucked up thing. <laughs> Thomas says this guy's like fucking Batman. <laughs> yeah. This is that new, this is the new uh, crime scene crime investigation, investigation for Batman, yeah. right? Yeah. Abbott yeah, says he had a naturally occurring bullet crime. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you just pitch a CSI <laughs> Batman like game? Oh no, that's a new thing in the new Batman games. games. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's like a CSI <laughs> mini-game <laughs> thing. That some researcher would call fascinating. My, my two favorite CSIs are CSI Miami and CSI Batman. This guy also, like, in addition to, like, just shit-talking other cultures, he just shit-talked the whole of, like, historical studies. Oh, boy. Other researchers would call fascinating. I'll just call them knickknacks. The, the actual, the problem there oh, hey, is Hey, that dead Professor Sindler, enjoy your fucking knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't understand it, but the subtext to that is that he's a fucking idiot. That other researchers would think this stuff is fascinating, and he's just like, meh, knickknacks. Like, no, you're just saying you're dumb, dog. Yeah, kind of. Uh, what? Okay, what? This is the support. I feel like, the as, as an adventure game, excluding all the again. racist bullshit and the weird the character default. stuff, this device right. uh, <sighs> he just, there's just too much clickable stuff per room. Yeah. Like, there's too much going on that doesn't matter, that doesn't give you any context. It's just stuff for you to click on and be like, nope, not this. I mean, like, if, if he was saying anything that was, like, right. interesting yes. or funny, then it would be okay. Yeah. But, like, he's just saying, like, yeah. Yeah. mundane bullshit. These must be theology. Or, or mundane or offensive <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, it's like. Fox says, you died, but at least your profession was total garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Sort. Some books are uh, you're better off shelf. now, Doc. <laughs> like, I. The only books left are those on. <laughs> unfortunately, for this game, whatever could have been. Uh, useful. my favorite moment is still when he was looking at the doll and was like, "I'm not gonna waste time making a doll." <laughs> like, no one was asking you to do that yet. Yeah, looks like. And then he did anyways. Yeah, like who looks at like I've never seen something and and just assumed that it applied to me. Like no, it obviously they didn't. Someone didn't put this here for you. Whenever you whenever you drive past like uh, an auto body shop, you're not just like, man, I'm not even gonna work on these cars. Fuck that. Yeah, like every yeah. It's the same face I saw. Toy stores. I don't need any toys. Who put that? Who put that? Has a soup kitchen. I don't even like soup. Oh, so this guy was supposed to already be dead. If he was supposed to already be dead years ago, why was his office still fascinating? <laughs> the questions keep piling up. You know, people were really respectful back in the day, Phil. You know, they yeah. just left your office in place. Well, I mean, also, they probably fired the janitor if the place was going under. Tolvo says, ironic, he studied history, and now he is history. Jack then walked over with a cold corpse to look at his knickknacks. <laughs> I think the implication is that this dude died and then the museum was done because it was his museum or whatever. Right? No, because they, no, they do. He said, it was, he said it was like the economy or some bullshit. And also they just left his body. I don't know, but they're saying that it's been gone for, it's been closed for a few years and this guy was dead, like died a few years ago. No, but he Doesn't that seem like there'd be like a connection? Oh. And then there's like, oh, there's this other guy, so who's he? Right? Isn't that what just happened? I, listen. That has to go on the end. It's smooth, man. Yeah. It's a top piece. Oh, boy. Listen. <laughs> he got it. He got it now. Oh, I can turn them. I don't like this. Oh, that's not good. But you know what the top and bottom pieces are. Yeah. Well, I mean, the smooth. top and bottom could be the bottom and the there. top, but still. No, because you can't flip them. You can only rotate them, right? I guess I can, okay. like, rotate so that the, there's blood on some Oh, yeah, use the red. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, use, yeah. there you go. I think that's the middle piece, because just... there's a little bit of red on the bottom of that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I think the big red is the middle piece. Big red? Big red, yeah. Big red one is the middle piece. <laughs> Hogan says this game is the worst game. <laughs> it's up there. There's got to be some other way to describe it than the worst game because it's so much more than that. 
uh, well, okay, well, Sticka, uh, the developer, one of the developers, I think actually one of the uh, people on the the distribution side, not one of the actual developers, says, Face Noir is a detective noir style game taking place in the 1930s, when society's values were very different than, from what they are today. Oh, is this is a racist threat? Yes. Okay, it good. does not mean, however, that Face Noir is a racist game or aims to be one. It does, however, try to represent the topic of race or how it was perceived back then. Face Noir is also... I'll come back to that in a second. Face Noir is also the story of a hero's redemption. You start off playing as Jack, a character with many moral faults who does not like himself at the beginning. But as the game progresses, he slowly starts seeing the error of his ways and becomes a better person for it. We'll see about that. Guys, how... Um, how what am I... This looks right to me. What am I... That looks totally right to me. Maybe you've got to rotate all of them a little bit. Yeah, maybe like the, the red stuff is supposed to be on the top or something. Which is total bullshit, if that's the point. Yes, this is the Wait, worst. what? This oh, is garbage. I, just, um, I think what you have the right pieces. When you, get a piece, when you get two pieces to connect right, they should like they should kind of lock it in. I mean, maybe yeah, they okay. do, and maybe I just haven't. Uh, I, I can't believe that. Oh, you need to uh, do more. There's another thing you have to do here. What? Oh, wait, does he see? Okay, it should say when, when it's correct. Yeah, when he, you has, line them up, he hasn't right. said anything. Okay. Do they have any tips for how to line them up? I can sh just send you a picture. Uh, one weird trick to connect this, this bottle yeah. together. <laughs> Give me the one no, weird is, trick. That looks right to me. That looks right, like, like it looks it yeah. looks right. Oh wait, wait, this, wait. Uh, this looks like a tin can, but it's, it's so dictaphone. long. It's a wax it's, cylinder. Oh right, oh right, it's, it's a wax dictaphone. cylinder. From dictaphone. Yeah. Which I I don't think putting this together would allow us to listen to it, but he says it will. No, there's a, there's a second step. You'll see. Oh, oh, so this is a recording on this thing. Yeah. Yes. Of the murder. I don't well, maybe. know. Maybe. Someone recorded the murderer and then broke, broke the dictaphone. Use the blood notches as guides. Jack will say when it's correct. Isn't this the fifties? Are people still recording things on wax cylinders? I thought it was the thirties. It's the thirties. I never. The, I can never Great remember Depression. when this game is supposed to be. Yeah. Because it's out of place no matter what. Uh, You're almost... You, no, keep turning that. That one needs to turn more. I don't I'm even, just going to send you... I'm just going to... I feel like I should just paste this thing into chat. Yeah. You need to... Okay, so the second one needs to turn a little bit more. Just, just a little bit more. That's too much. This can't be worth it. Though, it's a good right? thing you're 10 seconds behind. Yeah. Like... As far as like, okay, I get, I get you want to like dictate stuff and be able to read it back, but you're gonna have to keep boxes and boxes of wax cylinders. Is that worth it's, it? Yes, they had just records write stuff too. Down. It's not like or hey, just hire a fucking, just hire a secretary to fucking take yes. dictation. I bet that's way cheaper than so can you millions see chat? of wax cylinders. Yeah, I can see chat. I'm gonna have to, like, pasted the image. close out of the game quick to go <laughs> click on it. But... I like that the only walkthrough for this game is on GameBoomers.com. Yeah, I, I keep reading it as I keep reading it as Game Boners. I can't <laughs> stop reading it as Game Boners. This, this looks exactly like what you already had. Yeah, this looks like how I had it, but you know I'm gonna. You even had the red facing the right way. I know. I know. <laughs> I think that the, the big red piece has to be moved a little bit up. Yeah. And you can only turn it that one way, right? Yeah, you can only turn it the one way. <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, I think this looks like it's right. Yeah. That looks super right to me. But I'm not the developer, and no one should have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, line that notch up. Do you see the little notch? Yeah, I think I think this is good. Mm -hmm. The th um, the third no, sorry, the fourth piece has to be lined perfect. up a little better. <sighs> I guess. Right, and, like it's got to be a little up, so you have to rotate it all the way around. <laughs> right. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. It also like drops off every time. <laughs> this garbage. 
I like puzzles where just, you rotate things. I like that he's just <laughs> doing this, like, presumably squatter. Like, oh, he can't oh, oh, even oh. bring this the to a table one, or something. The fourth one actually has to go down a little bit. Because you see those Shaded little... Fox is saying press X to fuck this shit. I don't know what that... Oh, <laughs> oh the X button. I was thinking... No, the fourth one, Phil, has to... If you look at the bottom, like, the little triangle indentation doesn't line up right now at all. So I think it's just a... I think it's a... Like, goes 